Trinity always was and always will be the very first family in existence. Always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's the first community. That's the first family in the entirety of existence. Let's say there's a family. And in the family you have a father, you have a mother, and you have a son. If I was out of my mind, I would say, you know what, Andy? You're, you know, today you're, you're the son. But you know tomorrow you're going to be your mom. And then the day after you'll be your dad. Andy does not have three different forms. Andy's his own person. Andy's a part of his family. So Andy's father is distinct from Andy. And Andy's mother is distinct from Andy. And Andy himself is distinct from both his father and his mother. He is not his father and he is not his mother. But because they are one family, we consider them one. So Matthew 3, verse 16 through 17. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So this is why it's so important not to get this doctrine twisted. Because very clearly we see that, hey, God is not three different forms right here. God is three distinct persons. The Father is speaking from heaven, the Son is on earth, and the Holy Spirit is resting on Jesus. God is three persons. Each person is fully God, and there is only one God, or Godhead.